Okay, we are going to program this Baofeng GM15 Pro GMRS radio. And let's go through some quick orientation real shortly here. This is your power and volume button right here. If you turn it clockwise, you'll hear a little detent and that's your power on, then you can adjust the volume from there. Welcome, channel mode. On the left hand side, this oval button, this large button on the left hand side is the PTT or push to talk button. When you're ready to talk, once you have your license, which is no test, but only $35 and it's good for your whole family, you hold this button down before you start talking and then you release it when you're done talking. Okay. On your main screen here, you have several buttons. The main ones we'll worry about today are this green button. May not be green on your radio, but it's this upper left-hand corner button, and that's the menu button. Then you have these up and down arrows, so you can cycle through the different programming functions that we're doing today. And then you have this return button. You can use that in certain locations. All right, so we are going to program the West Richland Stake Repeater as well as the Desert Hills Ward channels. Now, the first thing I want to do is try and make this as simple as possible. So let's clean up this screen a little bit so you don't have two different things on there and it gets confusing. <clears throat> so let's hit the menu button first. Menu. And once you're in the menu, you can scroll through to the different menu functions. We're going to use this down arrow and we're going to go to sync, which is number 41. If you see that number in that corner there and you hit menu again to be able to adjust this particular menu function. And then we want to use the up or the down arrow arrow to sync through or to uh, shift through the different options. In this particular case, we're going to change it from off to on. And all you do is hit this menu button again, and it uh, confirms. Confirm. Okay, so that's your first thing. And we can go back to the main display screen by hitting this return button or the push to talk button. So I'm going to hit the return button, and we're back to our main screen. Now you see it's just got one channel on it. Plus, it's a little bonus. It's got the frequency. But the only thing you really need to worry about here is you have your channel one. <clears throat> so the Desert Hills Ward channel on GMRS is channel 16. How do we get to channel 16? You just cycle through the channels with these up down buttons. Okay. So we're going to go up to channel 16. Five. And this takes a little bit longer than your finger will Nine. work. I mean, you could push your finger a lot quicker than this changes, but we get to channel 16 One, seven. and whoops, too far. We'll go back down One, to 16. Six. Now we need to program special codes into this, a transmit code and a receive code. Just make sure you're on channel 16 first, and then we'll go back into the menu. Hit menu. Menu. And now we need to go up to find the CTCSS codes. And we'll use our up down arrows to get there. So we'll go up. There's your first CTCSS code. That's the receive or RX code, and we want to adjust that. So to adjust that, we go into the menu, hit the menu button. Menu. Oops, it timed out. So you can hit menu again. It'll go right back to where you were. So we'll hit the menu button again. CTCSS. And at this point, we want to change this to 74.4. So we use our up and down arrows to get to that number. And there it is. Now to confirm this, we just hit the menu button again. Confirm. And there you go. So we just programmed the first CTCSS code. We need to go up two steps to get to the second CTCSS code. This is the transmit or the TX CTCSS. So to adjust that, we hit our menu button. CTCSS. And we're in the uh, off location there. Now we can scroll up. Again, we're going to 74.4. If you go past it, you can just go down and come back and then you hit the menu button to confirm. Confirm. Okay, so now 
To find out if we have that programmed, we can hit our return button and you can see channel 16. And you see right up here across this top, it says CT. That means it has a CTCSS code associated with that channel. If we go down on channels like channel 15, One, see there's no CTCSS code. So channel 16 is the Desert Hills One, channel. Six. You now have it programmed so that you can talk to your fellow ward members. Now let's go and change the programming on the repeater for the West Richland stake. For that, we have to go up several, several channels to RPT3 or repeater three. So we'll use our up arrow here. And one, again, we'll step slowly two, <laughs> two, up to repeater one, two, two and three. Two, there we are. Five. Now from here, we need to change those same codes like we did on the other channel. And we're going to do that simply by hitting the menu button. Copy. And we're already on, oh, somebody's trying to talk there. We're already on one of those. So we're going to adjust this one. This was the second one, channel 12. So we'll hit menu. And we go up and we, for this one, we have to go to 103.5. It's not 74.4. It's 103.5. Whoops, too far. Go back down, and there we go. Now we'll hit menu to confirm. Confirm. And we now have that properly programmed. Now we're going to go back down to the other CTCSS. That was number 10. Remember, this is number 12. So we'll get, oop, we timed out. So it went back to our main display, but we want to go back to the menu. How do we do that? We just hit this menu button again. Don't get in a hurry and push a lot of buttons real quickly. You'll really get confused. Just go slow. And then we'll go down to the other CTCSS code. And there we are, number 10. Then we'll hit menu. And then we will go up to 103.5. There we go. And we hit the menu button to confirm. Okay, so that's it. You can hit the return button here or push to talk, and that takes you out of that back to the main screen. Let's go ahead and just keep it on channel 16. So to get back there, we go down Two. to channel 16. Two. And that's the one, main one you'll be working on to talk within one, the ward boundaries one, for six. emergency communications practice or if the actual event occurs. Thanks for watching today. Please give me a call or text or anything. I'm happy to help if, I, if you need it.